I'm happy to be doing this edit today because I'll be unveiling the creme de la creme of crank technology. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the Cane Creek E-Wing. Can't do it. Hands are actually shaking. It's worth taking a minute to look at how staggeringly risky it was for Cane Creek to build these cranks. Now, in a world of aluminium forged CNC cranks and pretty good carbon cranks, where does a titanium set really fit in? Well, aesthetically, it's definitely worth it. The finished quality is absolutely incredible. I love the little laser um, engraved sigils on here. Um, by the colour of them, it doesn't show up so well, but they're kind of like a rainbow um, colour, so I think they've been lasered in. It's the uh, oxidisation on the product. And then all the uh, the forging on there is pretty impressive, to be honest. They are incredibly lightweight. They feel amazing in, in the hand the build quality and the welding is just exceptional as you'd expect it to be but more than more than anything they're a functional work of art and i think it's important it feels like a uh, mountain biking loses its way quite a lot and everything's become kind of streamlined and functional at the expense of maybe artistry is is that fair to say that um there's very few brands taking massive chances, and I think hats off to them. Now, when I was young, I really wanted a pair of profile cranks, and um, my parents wouldn't buy me some. So this is kind of my um, my backlash against that, is spending even more money on a pair of uh, titanium cranks for my bike. Now, I think, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, they're really, really expensive. And I guess they cost a lot of money, but you can see where it's gone. I'm, I'm sure that titanium forging on there is not cheap. The machining looks like a lot of hard work. Um, and having having worked with titanium with frames before, it can be a uh, real tricky to, to get in there. And especially as you need to weld them all in an atmosphere uh, that keeps oxygen out. So that can be um, a bit of a tricky one. I picked up this box um, during the actual... Uh, video and I can't remember why I didn't open it but I didn't and now I'm going back and doing the voiceover and thinking what the heck was I doing there I think I was just in shock and awe everything about it is so burly and a few people have said well you know like um, what happens you know when they get all scratched up they won't look as nice and I think they will they're kind of a life investment they've got a 10 year warranty on these so I'm reckoning you're going to be holding on to them for quite a long time but it, it feels like um yeah, it feels very much like supercar quality. That's what it feels like. It's as close as I'm ever going to get to owning something quite as ridiculous as, you know, a Rolls Royce or a Bugatti or a Ferrari or something like that. And um, we've we've got a few of these that we've sent over to our customers and we have them on our store. And yeah, I'm real proud to work with these guys. Something amazing happened. <laughs> 